And Project reporting there. Well, we asked the London School of Economics to come on the programme, but they said that nobody was available. I'm joined now by Benjamin Barber from New York, an author and political scientist who was until recently a member of the board of Saif Gaddafi's International Charity Foundation, and by Hassan Al Amin, a Libyan dissident who runs an exile website from here in London. Mr. Barber, do you regret any part of your association with Saif Gaddafi? I do not. Uh, I believe that Saif Gaddafi and the Gaddafi Foundation and its International Advisory Board was perhaps the only entity in Libya that was looking into peaceful forms of reform and change that could have made a difference uh, had it not been overtaken by these revolutionary events. I think SAFE was a genuine reformer. I think he's a genuine scholar. I've trained 60 PhD students myself. I read his dissertation. I think people who claim plagiarism probably notice that he cited a lot of other people. That's what graduate students do in their doctoral but dissertations. What, what did you make then of the rivers of blood speech that uh, this man gave on television? Well, what I make of it is that nobody listened to it because what he said very clearly, and you would like to go back and play it, we can hear him say it, is that if we do not find forms of reconciliation, Every Libyan is armed. We are all equal in arms. There will be a civil war, and the civil war will result in rivers of blood. That was a dire prediction. It wasn't a threat. He never said, we will inflict rivers of blood. That's what he actually said. But again, people have made so many prejudgments about this and are unwilling at this point, as Lord Desai said, to take anything he might have done seriously and uh, simply to assume that he's a, he's a grievous villain. Uh, I understand you actually quit from this charity two days ago. Why did you do that then? I quit because, obviously, as events are unfolding now, the charity can, can't possibly have an impact. And Saif Gaddafi himself on Sunday night did embrace, at the end of his speech, uh, the defense of Gaddafi and his father. And at that point, uh, in that sad turnaround, uh, we had no choice, I think, the <laughs> oh, members oh, of the International minute. Advisory but, Board, but, but you, to do that. You're an educated man. You're an American academic. The U.S. State Department in 2008 said the government's human rights record remained poor, remaining problems Included reported disappearances, torture, arbitrary arrests, and last lengthy year, pre the human, and sometimes and last year, detention, and last year, official impunity, and poor prison conditions. Right, right. We and know this that. We know that. And, in, and in 2009, in 2009, Human Rights Watch went to Tripoli, met with SAFE, and issued a report there saying there had been many, many improvements, in part as a result After of the work of years SAFE of a and the foundation. After yeah, but 40 you're, years safe, of you're talking about safe Gaddafi. We're not talking about okay. the regime. We're talking about safe Gaddafi. You, I mean, if you want to hear the facts, the facts are safe. You, you talk about him as the heir. He was offered to, a year and a half ago a senior post in government, said then to the uh, unhappiness of his father, I will accept no post in government unless it's a okay. post that is achieved by elections. Me, and he refused that in, post me, and left the country. Let me so, bring I mean, in Hassan al -Amin. Put, I mean, the, put the facts on the table indeed, along indeed. with the accusations. Uh, Mr. Amin, I mean, uh, Saif Gaddafi, young man. And you are let me ask Mr. Barber, I mean, did you profit personally from your association with Mr. Gaddafi? No, I didn't profit personally. I did receive consulting fees originally when I went with Monitor from London to, uh, to Libya so as a consultant. So you did get some money from him? <laughs> oh, I did. I, I, indeed. I, I hope you're being paid for interviewing me tonight, too. Yeah, I'm not, not being paid by the Libyan position. regime. I, I should point that out. But you accepted the, money from uh, him, and you're me, now appearing on television me, telling uh, us what a good guy he is. I'm sorry. I'm not saying he's a good guy. I am saying he guy, was a no. genuine and authentic reformer and was attempting reform. You, you talked earlier about money going to the LSE. Saudi Arabia has money in every American university. It's a Wahhabist regime connected directly to Al-Qaeda that doesn't recognize the rights of women. I don't hear anyone complaining about Saudi money in Britain or anywhere else. I don't hear them complaining about the money in Washington that comes from big business. I mean, this is such a selective thing. Uh, does Lord Desai had it so right. What Saif Gaddafi did this weekend in embracing the regime and the regime's brutal repression was horrendous, a horrendous turnaround. I resigned from the foundation. But to try right. to rewrite history, Soviet style, by then trying to go back and say nothing he did before counts, that he was inauthentic, that he wasn't a reformer, that he's a plagiarist, okay. is simply silly. It Thank rewrites you. Thank you very much, Mr. Barber. Thank you, Mr. Alameen.